Bishop of Paris and his companions, commemoration. Robert Grosteste, Bishop of Lincoln, commemoration. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving and be glad in him with songs. For the Lord is a great God, and a great King above all gods. In his hands are the depths of the earth, and the heights of the mountains are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have moulded the dry land. Come, let us worship and bow down, and kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God. We are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Rejoice in the gift of this new day. So may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 55 Hear my prayer, O God. Hide not yourself from my petition. Give heed to me and answer me. I am restless in my complaint. I am alarmed at the voice of the enemy and at the clamour of the wicked, for they would bring down evil upon me and are set against me in fury. My heart is disquieted within me and the terrors of death have fallen upon me. Fearfulness and trembling have come upon me. And a horrible dread has overwhelmed me. And I said, Oh, that I had wings like a dove. For then I would fly away and be oppressed. Then would I flee far away and make my lodging in the wilderness. I would make haste to escape from the stormy wind and tempest. Confuse their tongues, O oh Lord and divide them, for I have seen violence and strife in the city. Day and night they go about on her walls, mischief and trouble are in her midst. Wickedness walks in her streets, oppression and guile never leaves her squares, for it was not an open enemy that reviled me, for then I could have borne it. Nor was, my, it my, nor was it my adversary that puffed himself up against me. For then I would hid myself from, the, from him. But it was even you, one like myself, my companion and my own familiar friend. We took sweet counsel together and walked with the multitude in the house of God. Let death suddenly come upon them. Let them go down alive to the pit. For wickedness inhabits their dwellings, their very hearts. As for me, I will call upon God, and the Lord will deliver me. In the evening and morning and at noonday, I will pray and make my supplication, and he shall hear my voice. He shall redeem my soul in peace from the battle waged against me. For many have come upon me. God, who is enthroned of old, will hear and bring them down. They will not repent, for they have no fear of God. My companion stretched out his hand against his friend and has broken his covenant. His speech was softer than butter, though war was in his.
his heart. His words were smoother than oil, yet they are naked swords. Cast your burden upon the Lord, and he will sustain you, and will not let the righteous fall forever. But those who are bloodthirsty and deceitful, O God, you will bring down to the pit of destruction. They shall not live out half their days, but my trust shall be in you, O Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Some days later, when Felix came with his wife Drusilla, who was Jewish, he sent for Paul and heard him speak concerning faith in Jesus Christ. And as he discussed justice, self-control and the coming judgment, Felix became frightened and said, Go away for the present. When I have an opportunity, I will send for you. At the same time, he hoped that money would be given to him by Paul. And for that reason, he used to send for him very often and converse with him. After two years had passed, Felix was succeeded by, by Porcius Festus, and since he wanted to grant the Jews a favour, Felix left Paul in prison. Three days after Festus had arrived in the province, he went up from Caesarea to Jerusalem, where the chief priests and the leaders of the Jews gave him a report against Paul. They appealed to him and requested as a favour to them against Paul, to have him transferred to Jerusalem. They were, in fact, planning an ambush to kill him along the way. Festus replied that Paul was being kept at Caesarea, and he himself intended to go there shortly. So, he said, let those of you who have the authority come down with me, and if there is anything wrong about the man, let them accuse him. After he had stayed among them for not more than eight or ten days, he went down to Caesarea. The next day he took his seat on the tribunal and ordered Paul to be brought. When he arrived, the Jews who had gone down from Jerusalem surrounded him, bringing many serious charges against him, which they could not prove. Paul said in his defence, I have in no way committed an offence against the law of the Jews or against the temple, or against the emperor. But Festus, wishing to do the Jews a favour, asked Paul, Do you wish to go up to Jerusalem and be tried there before, before me on these charges? Paul said, I am appealing to the emperor's tribunal. This is where I should be tried. If I have done no wrong to the Jews, as you very well know. Now, if I am in the wrong, and have committed something for which I deserve to die. I am not trying to escape death, but if there is nothing to their charges against me, no one can turn me over to them. I appeal to the emperor. Then Festus, after he had conferred with his council, replied, You have appealed to the emperor. To the emperor you will go. Forsake me not, O Lord. Be not far from me, O my God. Forsake me not, O Lord. Be not far from me, O my God. Make haste to help me, O Lord of my salvation. Be not far from me, O my God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Forsake me not, O Lord. Be not far from me, O my God. Give your people knowledge of salvation, O God, by the forgiveness of all their sins. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors, and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, 
to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Give your people knowledge of salvation, O God, by the forgiveness of all their sins. Let us pray. merciful Father. We pray for this new day, for the tasks that we undertake. May we do so with your love in our hearts. For the conversations we have, may we bear in mind the teachings of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. For the conversations conversations that bring your kingdom to earth. May, be we, may, be we, we, may we be inspired by the Holy Spirit. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the world at this time. We pray for those in America who are preparing for an election. understanding of the needs of the people. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our church. We pray particularly for the Diocese of Chichester. We pray that their financial problems may be resolved and that all churches are able to try and meet their parish share. pray that those who come to church can give generously of their time, their money, and their missionary zeal. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Today we pray especially for Her Majesty the Queen, the Royal Family, and all who are responsible and justice of this land. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who work for reconciliation on a national, global, local or family scale. May they put forward peace. May they forgive those that need forgiving. And may those that need forgiving ask for forgiveness. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. As the days of autumn length shorten and the weather becomes worse, we pray for all homeless people. May they find comfort and refuge. May they be kept off the streets. May they find themselves in situations where they know that they have support, love and care. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, you have made us for yourself, and our hearts are restless till they find their rest in you. Pour your love into our hearts and draw us to yourself, and so bring us at last to your heavenly city, where we may see you face to face, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you 
in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence, as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil, and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.